Hello there. Few things before we start. Number one, these are my favorite explosive weapons, not yours. If you don't like them, that's okay. Number two, no kid guns. Number three, I'm running Pram footed on my Naros to negate staggers. And number four, I'm running three vigilante mods on my pet's weapon, which gives me a 15% chance to enhance my primary crits by one tier. So if you randomly see an orange or a red crit on a weapon that shouldn't actually hit them, this is why. So, in a number one we have an absolute no-brainer, as it sports a fantastic area of effect damage while also having some of the best single target bursts in the game, the one and only Kuva Zar. As far as the build goes, we started off with Galvanized Chamber and Aptitude as well as Primary Merciless, which I've maxed out because I'm not a pleb. We follow it up with Critical Delay and Vile Acceleration for crit chance and damage, and we of course focus our damage around Hunter Munitions and Viro. Now if like me, you're also bothered by the somewhat long reload time of the Kuva Zar, I would highly recommend Prime Fast Hands as your final mod, but if you don't mind it and you would rather get some extra sweaty damage, you wanna go with the Primed Bane mod instead. Also, it is absolutely required to run some form of ammo mutation as you only have 5 spare rounds with an ammo pickup of 1, so you can very easily run out. The reason I rate the Kuva Zar so highly is because of its versatility. When you're in cannon mode, you can blow up entire rooms full of enemies with just a single pull of the trigger. But if you run into a really beefy enemy like an Acolyte or even a Guardian Eximus, so you have to be a little bit more precise with how you shoot, you can easily switch it into barrage mode which turns the weapon from an AoE cannon into one of the best shotguns in the game. The one downside of the Tsar is the same as it is on other explosive weapons. It's the ammo economy. You have 5 rounds in the magazine, 5 spare rounds and an ammo pickup of 1, so the weapon only really works in high density missions. It's also pretty unwieldy if you don't have prime chore footed or another way to negate staggers, as the explosion radius is quite large. But honestly, that's nothing compared to the sheer amount of destruction you're able to inflict with this. It's just ridiculous, it's fun, it's a handheld cannon for god's sakes. So if you don't have the Kuvazar yet, definitely pick it up. You won't regret it. In at number 2 we have yet another Kuva weapon that's actually fairly similar to the Kuvazar, because it's basically the bow version of the Kuvazar. The Kuva Brahma. Now the build for the Kuva Brahma is very similar to the Kuva Zar one, we just take out the reload speed and put in fire rate, so we run Galvanized Chamber and Aptitude as well as Primary Merciless, we have Critical Delay and Vital Sense for crit chance and damage, and Hunter Munitions and Vital for some damage over time. The reason I like Speed Trigger here is because it balances out the negative fire rate from Critical Delay and actually gives me extra fire rate so I can draw the bow back much faster. But just like with the reload speed on Kuvazar, if you don't mind the solo drawback of the bow without Speed Trigger, you can easily run a Primed Bane mode in there for some extra sorty damage, or or you can run Primed Firestorm for a bigger boom. The Kuva Brahma is one of my favorite explosive weapons in the game, it just feels good, it's fun to use and it does tremendous damage. Its main downside is once again the ammo, it's actually even worse than on the Kuvazar because instead of having 10 total rounds, you only have 5. So it's basically unusable in anything other than high density endless missions. But my god, when you get it going and you have a steady supply of ammo, it is a thing of beauty. There's a reason why this weapon is so scuffed, it was so popular they kept nerfing it over and over and over again, but even with those nerfs, it is still one of the best explosive weapons in the game. So do yourself a favor and pick the Kuva Brahma up, just bear in mind that it only really works in high density endless missions. If you take this into a capture or exterminate, you're not gonna have a good time. For this last spot, I was really torn between the Kuva Ogres, Kuva Tonkor and the one I ended up giving it to the Tenet Envoy. The build is once again very samey, we have Galvanized Aptitude and Chamber with Primary Merciless, Hunter Munitions with Viro, crit delay and vital sense, and then you can either run primed firestorm for a bigger boom, a primed bane mod for extra sweaty damage, or hammer shot for solid damage across all the factions. The Tenet Envoy doesn't have as much damage as the Kuva Zar or the Kuva Brahma, but its ammo economy is considerably better. You have 16 spare rounds, 8 rounds in the magazine and an ammo pickup of 4, so it's actually usable outside of high density missions. And to be fair, its damage is still good enough for the vast majority of the game, including Steel Path. Also, its explosion radius is absolutely huge. But honestly, the best thing about the Kuva Envoy is its reliability. You can use it anywhere you want as long as you have ammo mutation and vacuum. This also means it has the smoothest ramp up of the three weapons, because with a galvanized build that runs an arcane, you need to kill a few things before you get your full damage, and with something like the Kuva Brahma, you can sometimes run out of ammo before you get it going. And that's simply not an issue with the Tenet Envoy. So yeah, while it might not be the strongest numbers wise, it is definitely the most reliable. So go ahead and pick it up. 
And that is pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, let me know what are your top 3 explosive primaries in the game in the comment section down below. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.